session at 7 30 p.m. We will move on to item number nine. I call this meeting back to order after our recess at 7 30. As we continue tonight's meeting, we welcome all who have joined us as we keep asking how we can best promote and encourage achievement for every student in our district. The mission of Castleberry Independent School District is inspiring, educating, and empowering all students to be innovative thinkers in a global community. At this time, we will begin with the Pledges of Allegiance, and I believe we have some people. Yes. Uh, Mr. Board President, we have our Cub Scout Pack 155, led by Cub Master Sarah Kelty. All right. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the flag Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one stay under God, one and invisible. Now we move on to item 9B. Uh, will be, uh, camp oh, sorry, 9C. Campus rec recognition for Casper Elementary. Yes, Mr. Board President, uh, Charles Gideon, principal at Castleberry Elementary School, will introduce the students uh, who will be recognizing how staff and students are leading the way at Castleberry Elementary. Good evening, everybody. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'd actually like to turn this over to a wonderful admin intern here, Miss Pennington, to get us started. Welcome. Good evening, Board of Education, President Talvar, and Mrs. Smith Buckner. I'm Mrs. Pennington. I'm a first grade teacher at Castleberry Elementary, as well as an admin intern with them. I have brought some amazing students with me tonight to show you how Castleberry Elementary staff and students have been leading the way, building one leader at a time. What is the tallest building that you can build? A library because it has the most stories. Speaking of libraries, we want to recognize our librarian, Ms. McCormick. Ms. McCormick has been building leaders in her library by working with teachers and planning great lessons to help each grade level with what they need. She has also put together book clubs. Thank you, Ms. McCormick. What type of construction are dogs best at? Roofing. Speaking of dogs, we want to recognize our coach I has the running club and uh, and also took CE to to run to cut town. You dig this next one. Our amazing Miss Pera was a rock star URL coordinator. Oh, and don't forget Miss Waits, who was our spelling bee coordinator. Uh, 
All of our teachers are goal setting with their students. They are all providing strong tier one instruction and having fun while learning. We love our teachers. They rock. Ms. McPherson and Ms. Ward and our counselors do riveting work each day to help keep CE running smoothly. The list is too long of everything they help with, and we are so thankful for them. What kind of bird works on a construction site? A crane. Just like cranes reach for the stars, so does Laura Depp. She always holds CE to high standards and helps us reach for the stars. Which building has the least weight? A lighthouse. You know who doesn't carry a light load? Our lead custodian, Kevin. He's doing a great job carrying liberty and figuratively all clean duties and takes care of our, and takes great of, our, of our amazing campus. All of our non-teaching staff have the best interest of our students in mind and collaborate with all stakeholders to get great work done. Hey, I saw that we had some spelling bee winners. Runner up was Axel Gamboa and first place was Camila Moronava. We also had bilingual spelling bee winners. One of the prize thought one of the was Salome Romero, and first place was Lucero Reyes Rodriguez. Here at CE, we have some amazing students that won at the science fair. Jay Chuka got third place, Blakely Woodward was second place, and Shayna Parsons was the grand champion for all of elementary. You nailed it. Yum, did we mention that Esmeralda Cepeda was a clinking champion last year? We can't wait you to make us all dinner later. Just kidding. students at CE, including me, are setting high expectations for ourselves and working hard to meet our goals. Thank you. With all of these wonderful stories, it is clear that everyone at CE is working together to build brighter futures for each student, one leader at a time. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing us to come to show you how Castleberry Elementary staff and students are leading the way. Just real briefly, if we have just some wonderful people, and I know everybody's here because it's CE Board Recognition Night, but if you are a teacher or staff member at CE, do you mind standing to be recognized for the amazing work you're doing at Castleberry Elementary? Let's see. And if you are a parent of one of these amazing students or any of our CE students, because I know we have some people here for Spelling Bee and everything, could you stand and also be recognized for the amazing work you're doing at home to help us? We are so appreciative of you, Board, and all of your support throughout the year. Um, just a great community here at Castleberry to be able to help us facilitate great learning for our students. So we appreciate your uh, attention tonight as we get to celebrate things that are going on, on our campus. Uh, Mr. Board President, we have another recognition. Ms. Stephanie Martinez is our director of our CTE program. 
We'll introduce the students who will be recognizing how staff and students are leading the way in the STEM Academy. Okay, I'm trying to get my feet adjusted over here. Uh, good evening, Ms. Smith Faulkner, board president, and members of the school board. I appreciate your time this evening for hearing some of the great things happening at STEM Academy this past year. I will be having Ms. Henry and her uh, three of her eighth grade students from STEM Academy with me tonight. It was difficult to pinpoint exactly what to highlight considering all the great things um, that we've been doing at the STEM Academy this past year. Um, but I would like to spotlight these four items. We were able to highlight um, or host a full week of STEM Academy introductory camp this summer. The plethora of field trips that we uh, took to enhance this whole STEM experience, actual student perspectives uh, from the STEM students, and what the future holds. During the second week of June, we held a one-week STEM camp for incoming sixth graders. Not only were they able to become familiar with their new campus and make brand new friends, they were also able to learn quick block coding um, using Spheros, and we did a Summer Olympics. It culminated in a final Olymp Olympic performance for their parents on the last evening, and it was an excellent way for everyone uh, to get excited about STEM Academy that year, and their parents were able to, to start that journey with us as well. We had three of our sixth graders share their thoughts about STEM camp, and they really did enjoy building these new connections with their new peers and their teacher, Ms. Henry. The interactive nature of the camp helped them understand the level of rigor that would be expected from them in STEM Academy. And it was also a really fun way for them to just like get excited about it too. And here's some pictures. As you can see, we did an Olympic challenge in the gym for the final ceremonies for parents to watch and teams to compete. We even had judges scoring the obstacles and awarded a bronze, silver, and gold medals. They were candy actually, but they liked that. Over the course of uh, three years, our eighth grade students have had many real world connections and experiences via different STEM related field trips. And I'm gonna let Ms. Henry tell you about them. Good evening, my name is Janine Henry and I'm excited to tell you about the STEM Academy field trips that we've been, had the privilege of taking over the past two years. Last year, we went to the Texas Discovery Gardens and students participated in a hands-on activity to show how leaves adapted to their environment and they also visited the butterfly exhibit. During our trip to the Perot Museum, students participated in an earthquake stimulation, simulation and an interactive topographic map, both aligned with the eighth grade teaks. And then they completed a bot challenge where the groups built bots using concepts from various insects and then the bots fought each other. The Illusion Museum allowed the students to partake in hands-on activities that showed how technology and engineering are used for optical illusions. The presentation at UTA Planetarium supported the Earth and Science teaks across the grade levels, and this allowed students to view the universe and see the visuals of concepts they had learned about in class. Visiting the Fort Worth Science and History Museum allowed the students to view the multiple museum exhibits and participate in a circuit building challenge. At the STEM Career Day hosted by the Flight Museum, students listened to a speaker who explained the technology being developed for self-landing planes and how iPads are being used to fly helicopters. Then they engaged in a group project where they had to build a satellite system that would gather data for the upcoming solar eclipse. In May, we will, view, we will tour Timberview Farmstead, which uses technology to build greenhouses that rely on hydroponics instead of soil. The students will see the future of sustainable urban farming. Good evening. I am Landon Tenurcio. I attended Joy James prior to Irma Marshmallow School. My sister and I are both fortunate to be a part of the STEM Academy. I have enjoyed the field trips and the cool projects we get to do, learn, and talk about. STEM is important for my future because it can give me advantage in college by taking accelerated academic classes. I'm excited to start college next year because it can provide me with an opportunity to receive college credits all four years in high school. Thank you for letting me, thank you for letting me speak.
Hello, my name is Caden Coleman. I attended A.V. Cato Elementary School prior to IMMS, and it is an honor and pleasure to be speaking in front of you all this evening. Tonight, I would like to share how I feel STEM Academy can be beneficial to others and me in the STEM Academy. What I've enjoyed the most about the STEM Academy is the multiple unique and fun projects we've had over the years. I've enjoyed m different learning experiences such as coding, CAD, and many other well-demonstrated and hands-on learning experiences. Being able to learn hands-on helps us remember and want to learn more about these subjects. And if I can say so myself, it's worked on me. I see STEM as being very important for my future as it can provide multiple job opportunities and possible scholarships for myself and others in this accelerated program. I feel better prepared to start college courses next year because of the number of assignments we are delegated to finish. Our teachers are teaching us the responsibility of finishing assignments according to specific deadlines. I believe I have a better understanding of what will be asked of me as I go into these college courses next year thanks to my teachers and STEM Academy. Thank you for your time and having me here tonight. My name is Kelsey Brown and I attended Castleberry Elementary before IMMS. I am both excited and nervous about speaking this evening. I asked many people what their most enjoyable thing about STEM Academy, and they said field trips and the learning environment. Field trips provide many opportunities to explore various careers and interests. STEM creates a safe learning environment for students and promotes curiosity and creativity. STEM is important for my future because it helps me learn communication and leadership skills, as well as critical thinking and persistence. These things are what many employers are looking for and will help us tremendously in the real world. Three years of accelerated coursework has prepared me for starting college courses next year. Thank you. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize Ms. Janine Hendry's contribution to STEM Academy over the last three years. Not only has she been a constant for our STEM students, but a key player in helping shape the STEM curriculum, plan and run the summer camp, organizing countless field trips and keeping a steady stream of energy and enthusiasm for our staff and our STEM students. I am beyond appreciative of her continual positive attitude and willingness to go above and beyond all the time. I know our students adore her and so do I. Thank you so much, Ms. Henry, for all you do for our district STEM initiatives. And lastly, I'm looking forward to the initial planning year for Castleberry ISD's Early College High School program. With the $100,000 ECHS grant, we'll be able to lay the foundation for our students to receive an associate's degree with Tarrant County College. For the 25-24 school year, uh, rising ninth graders, these eighth graders, will be able to start their journey taking one college course the first semester and another college course the second semester. I've spoken with many of them, and while they are a little nervous, uh, they seem overwhelmingly um, prepared to take on this challenge. Again, thank you so much for your time and your support in allowing us to create opportunities for our students that are going to open doors for them beyond Castleberry ISD. For our schools, and more importantly, for our community, the benefits um, of our constant collaboration is greatly needed, and we would greatly appreciate it. And so if you're a parent or a guardian of one of these students, we ask you to please stand now, wave, be recognized. Oh, yeah, I know we've got a couple over there. Thank you so much. And that's it. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Yes, Mr. Board uh, President, next we have a recognition of Spelling Bee winners. Ms. Catherine Walker, our GT coordinator, and VNA Lemus, our elementary dual language ESL specialist, will recognize the 2023-2024 Spelling Bee winners. Downstairs. 
Good evening, President Tolliver, Board of Education, and Superintendent Smith Faulkner. Thank you for the opportunity to recognize the Spelling Bean champions from each elementary campus. The National Spelling Bee has been around for nine decades. Each year, students from all across the country participate in the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Every year, the Scripps National Spelling Bee releases its list of spelling words, and the list includes 450 words that students may study to prepare for their school-level spelling bee. This year, for the fourth time, the Region 11 Education Service Center will host the Regional Spanish Spelling Bee on March 22nd, 2024. Region 11 released a list of Spanish Spelling Bee words for students to study in preparations for the campus, district, and regional spelling bees, which included over 1,000 words. In February, the district held a district-level competition for the campus winners to determine our district representative. This evening, we are recognizing both the English and Spanish Spelling Bee Champions from across our elementary campuses. As the names of our Spelling Bee Champions are announced, they will come to the front to be recognized. We are first going to recognize our 2023-2024 English Spelling Bee runners-up and winners. From A.V. Cato Elementary, I am pleased to present the runner-up, fourth grader, Ava Rojas. The final word Ava spelled correctly was reference. Also from A.V. Cato Elementary, I am pleased to present the campus champion, fifth grader, Gael Armendariz. The championship word Gael spelled was reindeer. From Castleberry Elementary, I am pleased to present the runner-up, fifth grader, Axel Gamboa. The final word Axel spelled correctly was inscription. Also from Castleberry Elementary, I am pleased to present the campus champion, fourth grader, Camila Moda Nava. Camilla's championship word was termite. From Joy James Academy of Leadership, I am pleased to present runner-up, fifth grader, Alan Murphy. The final word Alan spelled correctly was ambush. Also from Joy James Academy of Leadership, I am pleased to present campus champion, fifth grader, Daniela Romero. Daniela's championship word was composition. Gael, Camila, and Daniela all went on to represent Castleberry ISD at the Area Spelling Bee. Let's give our English spellers another round of applause. Now, we are going to recognize our 2023-2024 Spanish Spelling Bee winners. From A.V. Cato Elementary, I am pleased to present to you fourth grader Brian Perey. The final word Brian spelled was aterrizaje. Also, from A.V. Cato Elementary, I am pleased to present to you fifth grader Daleisa Lopez. The final word Daleisa spelled was enca encabalgamiento. Daleisa was also our district's overall runner-up. From Castleberry Elementary, I am pleased to present to you fourth grader Lucero Duenas. The final word Lucero spelled was bautizado. Lucero will represent Castleberry ISD at the Regional Spanish Spelling Bee. Thank you. 
Also from Castleberry Elementary, I am pleased to present to you fifth grader Salome Romero. <laughs> the final word Salome spelled was actual. Now from Joy Jane's Academy of Leadership, I am pleased to present to you fourth grader Alan Vega. The final word Alan spelled was grabadora. And last but not least, from Joy Jane's Academy of Leadership, I am pleased to present to you fifth grader Rafael Neaves. <laughs> the final word Rafael spelled was corrección. Now, congratulations to all of our Spanish Spelling Bee District representatives. We would like to now thank our Spelling Bee coordinators for both our English and Spanish Bees. We ask that you please stand and be recognized. <laughs> we would also like to extend a thank you to the pronouncers, judges, teachers, staff, and administrators who have supported these fantastic spellers. If you are a pronouncer, judge, teacher, staff, or administrator, please stand and be recognized. At this time, we would like parents, with the parents of all of these fantastic spellers, please stand to be recognized. En este momento, nos gustaría invitar a todos los padres de nuestros grandiosos deletreadores a ponerse de pie para ser reconocidos y agradecerles por todo el apoyo que brindan a sus hijos. Thank you for joining us today in recognizing our students. Gracias por acompañarnos hoy para reconocer a nuestros estudiantes. Let's give all of our spellers one last round of applause. Vamos a dar un último aplauso. Thank you. Yes, and congratulations to all of our Spelling Bee winners. Our next recognition is a very special recognition as it was actually a dream about a year ago uh, to be able to start this uh, program because it is the recognition of our talent pipeline participants as we tried to figure out how we can grow our own talent uh, pipeline with the shortages that we know in uh, educators. At this time, Dr. Myrna Blanchard, who is our Director of Talent Acquisition and Policy, will introduce and recognize the Castleberry ISD talent pipeline participants. Okay, thank you. And I think I've got all of our participants that are here today. So we are proud to report that 10 CISD employees have been making uh, progress in their program and are on the path to becoming a teacher very soon in Castleberry ISD. We first introduced the Talent Pipeline program to you in March of last year. The idea was to find a solution to the nationwide shortage of teachers graduating from university programs. We knew from speaking with our own talented staff that the number one barrier for them to go into teaching was time, working while being able to go to school. The second was uh, cost. So we sought to break down these two barriers by developing our own program of support to fund up to $10,000 per fiscal year for a total of four years if needed for each of our selected candidates. What was so exciting when we started advertising about the program and we selected our candidates is that many had already completed 60 hours and so they came into the program with only two years left to finish. You will hear tonight their level of commitment as our talent pipeline has already been in CISD and they have committed to working in CISD after graduation for five years. So we have our talent pipeline here. They have maintained good standing in their programs. They have been on the Dean's list already and are continuing to make progress towards completing their degree. While some could not attend tonight, we are extremely 
proud of each of them. So we asked them here tonight. I'll be introducing each one of them, and they're going to tell you also how the Talent Pipeline Program has impacted them and their families. First, I'll start with Sandra. So Sandra Cervantes will come join me up here at the microphone. Hi. <laughs> Ms. Cervantes is an executive secretary for TLI. She's had 13 years of experience in Castleberry ISD, six as an instructional aide, one in technology, and the remainder as an executive secretary. She has won both Energizer Awards at Reach High School and at the administration building, and her program of study is Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education, and she is focusing on STEM. So Sandra's gonna let us know the impact. Go ahead, Sandra. Thank you. Thank you, um, Board of Education and Ms. Smith Faulkner for allowing me to be here today and thank you for this opportunity that you've given me. Um, I'm excited, I'm excited for this opportunity. I've um, wanted to be a teacher and uh, there just wasn't a, you know, God's timing is perfect and uh, I'm gonna stick to my script so I don't cry. <laughs> Being chosen as a Talent Pipeline recipient is a privilege, and I feel deeply blessed to have this opportunity. I am filled with gratitude, and I thank God for opening the door for me to do what I love to do. As the first in my family to attend college, I'm excited to fulfill my passion for teaching. For the past eight years, I've volunteered as a teacher for One Faith Church, teaching nine through 12-year-old, that, that's uh, our middle school kiddos and people think I'm crazy, but I absolutely love that age, and, um, and I'm just grateful to have that opportunity to participate in that. I love to serve, and I jump at any opportunity to pour into our youth and impact the lives of others. I want to make my life count, and I want to make it worth living. I want to allow Jesus' light to shine through me as I inspire others, including my children, to go to college and also to do what they love and to serve others. Thank you again for, for believing in me, for allowing me this opportunity, and, and thank you for nurturing me and helping me grow. I appreciate you. Thank you. Next, we have Myra Chires. Myra, if you'll join me up here. Myra is a SPED instructional aide at Joy James Academy. She has 10 years of experience as an instructional aide, four of them particularly in, sped edu in special education. She, her career highlights include having the opportunity to help students become proficient leaders in and out of their school and receiving their love in return. And this is what keeps her motivated and her heart filled. And she has some words to share with you about the impact. Good evening to everyone. First, I wanna thank you for this opportunity. Being selected as a talent pipeline recipient is very meaningful to me. Not only I am doing this for myself, but also for my daughter, my son, my husband, my parents. They have supported me through my path of becoming a teacher. Having their support keeps me motivated to keep going and never give up. This recognition inspires me to continue to pursue my purpose with even more determination. My purpose in this world is to make a difference in the children's life. Thank you. Juliana Chavira. Come on up. Juliana is our campus secretary at Castleberry Elementary, and she has 15 years previous experience as a medical assistant and five years for the past five years at Castleberry Elementary. Her career highlights include that she loves working with students, and even though she is a campus secretary, she still has daily interactions with students and families, and that allows her to still have the joy that she has working with students. All right. There you go, Julia. Good afternoon. I would like to correct that. It's going to be three years at Castleberry Elementary and previous two years uh, for Fort Worth ISD, but I, am, I love Castleberry ISD. Uh, being selected is meaningful because not only am I doing this for myself, but also for my. It's someone else's. Okay. Yeah, she won it. And I have it in my hand. Okay. You want to pick it up? Okay. We're going to get back to you. She wrote hers, so she's going to get it on her phone. Thank you, Juliana. We'll wait. No 
pressure. Sorry about that. It means a lot to me to have been selected as a Italian pipeline recipient. I know I have the pot potential and abilities to contribute to the field of teaching. I hope that my qualities and skills allow me to embark on my journey to become a teacher at CISD. And next we have Rocio Bautista. Come on up, Ms. Bautista. She's our instructional aide, PLC coding at Castleberry Elementary. And she's also been a previous instructional aide in pre-K. And she's been working in schools oh, for nine years now in different positions as a teacher's assistant. She does enjoy being with our students and helping them to grow. And she helps teachers in all ways that she can because she really wants them to succeed. And she loves being with our teachers as well. Rocio. Good evening, my name is Rocio, as you said. Uh, I want to say thank you to all of you for this opportunity. And this means a lot to me because this has been my dream for years. Um, I came from Mexico 20 years ago, and English is my second language. So I want to keep growing and let the kids know that we can do whatever we want. So thank you for allowing allow me to be in the um, Talents Pilot recipient, as a recipient. And I'm so glad to be part of this. Thank you. Next, we have Javier Hernandez. <laughs> He's our attendance clerk at Irma Marsh Middle School and has 19 years of experience in Castleberry. He's also worked as an attendance clerk the whole time, I think I saw. So his career highlights are that he's had the opportunity to actually connect with many families and build trustworthy relationships over those 19 years. And he does many community projects, not only with his children, but also most recently with our ACE program. He also loves to use his DJ skills, as you've seen, to create a positive environment at different campuses and district events. Javi. Good evening, uh, Ms. smith Wagner, Board of Education, family and guests. Um, Throughout my time at CISD, many have approached me uh, about continuing my education, uh, but the fear of failing the people that have supported me has always held me back. And it's the fact that I still, if I failed, I still had to come to work. So I was like, I still had to see their face, and I failed. But then I got the call, and they said, do you want to be part of the program? And I said, yes, I took upon the journey, and it's been great. Um, I plan to use this feeling as an example to inspire students who might be going through the same as me. As educators or staff working in a school, we have the opportunity every day to be role models and inspire future generations. I'm grateful to, for the opportunity that Ms. Renee smith Fogner and CISD has given me. I'm thankful to my wife, my family, for their continued support. I want to inspire my children, showing them that it's never too late to achieve their goals. My future goal is to become a teacher and finish one of my personal stories by asking the opportunity to become an IMMS soccer coach. Thank you so much. Next, we have Dana Judkins. Would you join me, Ms. Judkins? She's our instructional aide at Castleberry High School. She's also a graduate of Castleberry ISD and has 12 years of experience as an instructional aide in both SPED, PE, dual credit, CTE, I shouldn't say both, in many areas and as attendance clerk. She also received Energizer Awards both at the elementary and secondary levels, and she is a standout in her career. We know this, and we're glad you're in our program as well. Building Thank relationships you. you're welcome, with students, uh, watching them grow from grade, to grade school to adulthood has been incredibly rewarding for her, and she would like to say a few words. First of all, thank you, Renee. Without you, I would not have done this without you pushing me to be this. So thank you very much. It means a lot to me. As a CHS graduate, I have a deep commitment to giving back to my community. I look forward to new opportunities and continued contributions to CISD. 
Additionally, seizing this opportunity enables me to set a precedent for my daughter, who is also on the brink of entering college. Both she and I will be graduating college simultaneously. Thank you. And Diego Varela, he is our special ed CBI instructional aide at Irma Marsh Middle School. He also is a graduate of Castleberry ISD, and he has been in our district working as an aide for the last six years in special ed. And he loves to share his experience and, uh, as his career highlight with his speech impediment. That's his most favorite part of his career, as he's able to show the students that the only, and I love this, disability is the inability to see an ability. So he has some words for us, too. I want to start off by saying thank you to Ms. Renee Smith Faulkner. I remember going through school and always seeing you and always thinking you were amazing. You were a role model. Seeing you, seeing Mr. Dewey, Mr. David Holder, Ms. Page. I, like I said, I started JJE kindergarten, graduated in 2014. And being part of the China Pipeline is a dream come true. I always dreamt about being able to serve the community and the district that saw me grow. And I'm finally closer to my dream of being that one teacher who changed my life. Like Ms. Kelly James back there, Ms. Martinez. Ms. Martinez did when I was at CHS. Thank you. Wonderfully said. We want to thank all of our campus leaders, our colleagues, especially our families. If you are a family or colleague, please stand up. We'd like to recognize you as well, as we know that it takes a lot of support to do what you're doing. And again, we would like to thank Mrs. Smith Faulkner and the CISD School Board for continuing the support of our talent pipeline participants. It is making a difference for them and our school community. Thank you very much. And if you are a family member here with one of our Talent Pipeline uh, participants, would you please stand? And let's give you a nice round of applause. <laughs> Next, we have one more uh, recognition. At this time, if uh, Ms. Uh, Kelly James would come up, our secondary social studies coordinator will present campus activities celebrating Black History Month. Good evening, President Tolliver, Superintendent Ms. Smith Faulkner, and school board members. I'm excited to share with you some of the ways in which our students celebrated Black History Month. NATO have been busy learning about about African-American historical figures in developmentally appropriate ways. As you can see, several different grade levels did research projects on the historical person of their choice. A different African-American was also shared every morning during the announcements during, throughout the month. At Castleberry Elementary, students in all grade levels participated in many activities and projects that involved accomplishments from prominent African-Americans. We also provided information throughout the announcements highlighting historical events and people that have impacted our nation. At Joy James Academy Leadership, students explored black history throughout various activities. Pre-K engaged in read-alouds and showcased their understanding through creative door decorations. All students explored Ray Montague's engineering achievements with STEM activities in the library. Third through fifth graders, researched black Americans and how their leadership made an impact in our world. Their favorite quickly became Opal Lee when they discovered her north side roots. Irma Marsh Middle School has numerous, had numerous displays throughout the school highlighting significant African Americans. 
Um, eighth grade students learned about the historical court case of Scott versus Sanford, and they also used magic AI to have conversations with different African American historical figures. Our CBI students researched and wrote about notable figures, and daily announcements spotlighted important events and people. Castleberry High School had displays throughout the building to celebrate Black History Month. 11th grade students studied civil rights in their U.S. history classes. The high school also utilized their announcements to acknowledge important African American figures. At the Alternative Learning Center, both campuses at Reach High School and Truce Learning Center engaged in activities that helped promote reflection and the celebration of black Americans who contributed to the fabric of our country. At Reach High School, Mr. Rivers facilitated a mini research project producing multiple newspaper editions. At Truce Learning Center, Mr. Colbert assigned and supported students to memorialize sorry, their research in short constructive narrative responses. A new addition to our district celebration was the Castleberry High School Lion Jazz Band performing at each elementary school in Irma Marsh. Mr. McCall was able to tell students a little about the style of jazz and its history. Thank you to Dr. Moss and Mr. McCall for their planning and direction in making these special performances happen for our students. Please welcome with me the Lion Jazz Band as they perform Take the A Train by Billy Strayhorn, made famous by the Duke Ellington Orchestra, and they will also perform Cantaloupe Island by Herbie Hancock. Thank you for your time tonight to highlight how we celebrated Black History Month at IS CISD. Thank you. 
I'm speechless a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, personally, it's one of the best things I, I get to do is to see just the greatness of our community, the greatness of our kids. And so um, right now, we want to remember this. Uh, Ms. Ari Ariella Martinez, uh, Ms. Mary Lou Martinez, we want to take some pictures with you and remember this day forever. So thank you for being here. Thank you for standing, standing up and showing up for, for our kids and, and for showing up for our community in many ways. So um, right now, we're just going to take, take some time and get some pictures. Uh, Ms. Branch will, will tell you where to stand, and, and we'll get this done. Go ahead. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, get started with our first group. This could get a little messy. So what we want to do is uh, everyone from Castleberry Elementary, if you were in the presentation or not, if you'll come up and stand right here, Ms. Branch is going to uh, take your uh, photo. And then when we're finished, we'll move on to the next group. And while they're coming up, we are, uh, just want to extend a congratulations to every single person that was recognized tonight. It's been an outstanding uh, recognition, and we are so proud of everyone's accomplishments. So give yourself a nice big round of applause. <laughs> 